I'll show you the last match played by Cyril versus Special during semifinals at 2018 WCS Leipzig tournament. It's uh, played on acid plant and we'll be looking at Cyril's camera on the left and you can find uh, Special on the right in this picture here. Let's familiarize with um, 2018 WCS Leipzig. It's uh, one of the main circuit tournaments of uh, a grander tournament series that are StarCraft World Championship Series. The winner of this tournament will move on to the grand final, grand global final right here. He got a seed, the first uh, winner of the events, Cyril, has uh, been granted a uh, seed to WCS Global Finals. And for winning uh, WCS Leipzig, he got paid $20,000. The second place got paid $10,000, third and fourth places $6,500, fifth, eighth, $4,000, 916 2750 17th 24th 1250 25th 32nd 1250 now you can read notable participants at any point in time you can um, stop the video and uh, read this through further here are the third group matches, the last group with the best players <clears throat> who later were uh, competing in the brackets right here. I'm going to show you this match right there. It's Cyril versus Special and it's going to be the final match. The current result is 2-1. You can take a look at the maps here. And uh, <clears throat> the distribution or the statistics is as follows. These are races, Terran, Proto, Zerg, or random. These are regions, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, North America, Latin America, Asia, Oceania, countries, and map statistics right there. This tournament, 2018 WCS Leipzig, is part of a grander scheme of tournaments. You can read about this through on this website by stopping the video. And uh, <clears throat> you'll see in this table below right here, which uh, events make up 2018 StarCraft II World Championship Series events. And uh, you can see that there are three GSL leagues for Koreans two super tournaments for Koreans, four circuit events for uh, the rest of the world, and two global events for everybody. That's IEM Season 12 World Championship and 2018 GSL versus the world. You can watch um, 2018 WCS Leipzig games on Angel of the Game YouTube channel by typing Angel of the Game in YouTube search bar you may get uh, one of two channels in your search uh, results. If the one is without, choose the one that's uh, without any blank spaces. If you see this one, just click on it and it will take you straight to the channel. If you would like to choose a different channel, for example, you got two channels right here, or you got just one channel with the blank spaces, then click on it and you left the game and go to feature channel section on the right, click on it, and uh, here you will be able to go to the channel very, very quickly. Now, this is 2018 total uh, pricing. Uh, over 2 million for StarCraft World Championship Series uh, as a whole. So you can see this visual representation here. 
uh, in the global finals, eight players from Korea versus eight players from the circuit compete for five hundred thousand dollars. Uh, on Korea, you have three season GSL seasons here for one hundred seventy million won. Super tournaments, thirty million won. Leipzig, Austin, Valencia, Montreal, uh, hundred thousand each. And challengers, a uh, uh, ten thousand per circuit region for challengers. These are residency locked ones. <clears throat> so if you are from Europe, you have to play in Europe. Global IEM Katowice two hundred fifty thousand dollars. GSL against the world all star event. Now that we learned about the tournament, let's go on to the players. Here you can find the first player. He goes by the name of Serral. He represents the Zerg in this match. He's from Finland and made over $130,000 playing StarCraft 2. You can stop the video and read more about him. You can Google these uh, interviews and uh, learn about him a little bit more. Here is a breakdown of his notable achievements in Premier Tournaments, Major Tournaments, Minor Tournaments, Championships. Also, you can check out the gallery to see how he looks like. His opponent goes by the nickname of Special. He used to have other nicknames. He also very much known and uh, named known as the Major. So you may have a lot of information out there about Major. That's him. He made over 190,000, nearly 200,000 dollars playing StarCraft 2. And here you can learn about his past achievements his matches and uh, trivias. Furthermore, you can take a look at the breakdown of his uh, most famous premier tournaments, major tournaments, minor tournaments, where he actually got paid quite a bit. Uh, there's also premier team leagues here, matches. You can find matches all over the internet and here too. Heart of the Swarm matches also, if you wish to look at other expansions out there. Find the interviews by googling or going to this website right here and checking the gallery to see how he looks like. Now that we know the players and the tournament that they're playing at, let's move on to the match itself. So here we're going to take a look at the match from Searle's perspective. Currently Searle is dominating by having two wins versus special one win. If Special wins, they'll move on to fight in the fifth and final match. If that's not bound to happen, Cyril is going to take the win and move on to the finals. Where he will have to face one of the two Protoss players who are also playing in the semifinals. Neeb or Showtime, the two Protoss players that are playing in the uh, other semi-final bracket there. <clears throat> it looks like Cyril will start with a very very quick second hatchery here. And uh, he was uh, playing very very aggressively so far, building himself three hatcheries very very early on obviously that gives him that necessary advantage that he needs as a Zerg to get that extra larva to get that extra income and for as long as the town player is not being very aggressive he's not fighting then uh, Cyril is gaining consistent advantage <clears throat> he's a uh, very very expansion is Zerg continuously tries to deny his opponents his last base. He does not let his opponents to expand further. He continuously expands himself. Most of the games is at least one expansion ahead of his opponent and uh, he plays very very well and he splits his forces apart to make sure that uh, the troops are engaging consistently and all in all, so far, he was barely ever defeated. And now, we are seeing his early game here. It looks like the Reaper came 
Well, this indicates that the Terran most likely is not going to cheese because he would otherwise be more likely be building marines rather than uh, anything else. And when he saw the Reaper, he decided to go and build himself a third hatchery here. The Queen won't have a problem dealing with that Reaper. And at the same time, the turn gained valuable inter <coughs> information that the Zerg player is not uh, going to attack him either. Uh, Serral's Overlord has spotted that special the turn player is going to build himself a wall off over the second base, which it means that um, uh, the special was giving uh, Zerg an opportunity there to attack him early on with links. However, obviously Zerg decided not to commit uh, to this approach and uh, it looks like that's certainly not going to happen. He will start spreading his creep very very early on and this will increase Zerg movement speed and it will uh, get rid of all that fog of war. Uh, this uh, creep can be spread so far that it could actually even reach another uh, base, uh, opponent's base on the other side of the map. Here uh, the extractor has been cancelled but those links they've got a very very nice hit into those hellions there with that uh, speed upgrade <clears throat> they're very very fast now they shouldn't have a problem catching up with the hellions we'll see if Serral will leave out the hydralisk play I mean if Serral will leave out um, Roach play and move on to Hydralisks, or will he stays playing uh, Roach play as uh, somebody may play an early game? Uh, we don't see any drops here, so it looks like Special is moving on to his previous uh, composition where he was focusing very, very much on uh, Liberators. Hellbats and tanks. <clears throat> it looks like Hellbats are certainly plenty here. We can take a look at the unit breakdown. Queens are in position for continuous injects. Okay, the creep tumors are under attack too. Three bases, <clears throat> two of which are fully mining. Uh, the fourth base is soon to be created. Everything so far looks very, very well for the Zerg player. The Terran is not keeping behind with all those mule drops. Uh, he's just a hundred or equal resource intake as the Zerg while having 10 workers less. In here we see that these Hellions have almost got a good hit into those drones but it I suspect that the Banelings have scared Special off and he moved those Hellions away from uh, the front line from that hive <clears throat> successfully uh, the creep tumors are being attacked by those uh, hellbats there is a total of 17 <clears throat> 17 hellions here hellions can turn into hellbats uh, very very easily very very quickly uh, it, it seems that here 
Serral will create a massive wall of creep tumors. And this will allow the Zerg to spread this even further and wider. Furthermore, it seems an offensive is being mounted here on the western uh, fourth hatchery. However, there are so many hydralisks. Uh, these uh, Hellbats, even supported by two Medivacs, are certainly not going to be nearly as effective. It looks like uh, uh, those Thors have been successfully evacuated. And um, uh, Searle's army consistently grows. He's going to try and hunt down those doors. Uh, we'll bring down the rocks so that um, he could create himself a shortcut into opponent's base. And obviously at the same time creating himself a uh, position from which uh, the Terran opponent can attack him. A lot easier too. It looks like uh, he descends on the Terran area here with a bunch of Banelings, catches a Medivac. Uh, Zerg force is certainly very very large here at this point compared to the Terran. Terran doesn't really have that much and is being attacked from two sides. All those SUVs will get caught in the hail of fire here and they don't have anywhere to run. Those stores won't stop uh, Hydralis for long and it looks like the Zerg is in the Terran base of operations here and special decides to GG out.